from After Dark World Headquarters. This is a Your Morning Report with KD. It is Sunday, November 14th, 2021. For Mr. and Ms. America and all ships at sea. All sods everywhere. Good morning. I am deferring from coffee this morning for one reason. We must engage in a great experiment. I saw this the other day and I thought, hmm, blue cream soda, never had it. It could be freaking terrible, but we'll find out, won't we? So let me pop it and let's see what we got. Good morning, everybody. Wish me luck. I could uh, go the rest of my life without ever drinking another one. But if I was thirsty, would I drink it? Well, hell to the yes, I would. So... Frosty Blue Cream, can't recommend it. Probably will toss the rest, I don't know. We'll try one more sip. I just got back from the Annie Scene show earlier. And um, a special message to Mr. Nathan Trusty. Son, you got an autographed can of Bunker Hill coming your way. Real soon. I saw one of the best rock and roll shows tonight I've ever seen in my life, and I'm not even kidding. For you people who thought about going and didn't go, I really don't know what to say to you. But you better start getting your asses out and seeing this band. You really should. So... Shall we have a little reading? You know, I've been reading from the Bible lately. But that's not all I read from. I got some new material. I can't even show you the cover, but the name of it is The Best of Touch. Uh, or Touch. The Best of Touch. And I want to see when it was printed. It's old. It doesn't even say, or I'm not, I don't even care. Um, <clears throat> a letter in the column, Danger Fucking Letters. The name of this letter is called James Bond Humping. My boyfriend and I are into screwing with stealth. At least that's what they call it here in England. What it means is that we fuck in the most unlikely places, places where we take risk that we could be caught. We always wear flasher type trench coats and beneath mine, I am totally stark naked. My boyfriend has cut off pant legs that he keeps on with rubber bands. The first place we fucked was in the rear of a busy greengrocer's store, a veggie market to you Yanks. We hid in back of the grapefruit pile. We hid in front and back of the grapefruit pile or in front of it. We hid in back of the grapefruit pile and opened our coats. I raised my legs letting him take me right there on the sun-kissed spot. One evening, we rented a car, a uh, no car, a carriage and, and driver to take us around Trafalgar Square. We had only gone a block in the darkness when my boyfriend was plowing me. The driver must have wondered, sitting in his high perch seat, why so many people were looking at his carriage. He probably figured 
we were just kissing and such. Another time we did it in the underground, I stood up against a poster advertisement and he gave me his beef. He gave me his beef. The biggest thrill for me was giving my boyfriend head outside number 10 Downing Street. Uh, if you know anything about UK politics, that's the, that's the residence of the Prime Minister. We expected Miss Thatcher to descend upon our Volkswagen any second. The funniest time was when we stood in the back row of a bunch of Christmas, Christmas carol, carol, carolers and I jerked the boyfriend off while he frigged my partridge in a pear tree. This is beginning to sound like something a dude would write. The best place to sneak a screw or jerk is at the zoo. We always do it in front of the monkey cage. You'd be surprised about what you can do there and not be noticed because everyone is going ape over the little monkeys. Signed, Tabitha from Bristol, England. They tell it for the truth in the Best of Touch magazine. Let's get shit done today. Just because we're lacking a little sleep means we can't take care of business. I'm going to quote the great Patrick Swayze from... A classic movie called Roadhouse. Be nice until it's time not to be nice. Be kind to animals. Never complain. Never explain. Discipline equals freedom. And so, for Mr. Miss America, all ships at sea, all sods everywhere. This is KD wishing you a great morning and let's get shit done. Get out of that bed, get your lazy ass up. It's a Sunday, you can get shit done. You really can. And remember, discipline equals freedom. Have a great day, everyone.